Hey, I didn't see you there. I'm Melissa. Columbia Sportswear began its journey 80 years ago as a small family-owned hat distributor in Portland, Oregon. They were Columbia Hat Company until 1960 when supplier tensions caused a shift in the company and they had to manufacture products themselves. Since then, Columbia Sportswear has acquired footwear company Sorel and mountain climbing company Mountain Hardware. Columbia Sportswear is an industry leader in outdoor products and apparel and is a vast product line for almost any outdoor activity. I am. I served as one of the main primary sources for this marketing plan. I worked at Columbia Sportswear as a retail associate for six months. Another primary source that we used was contacting Mountain Hardware employees uh, that included uh, VPs and marketing coordinators in order to find out what their current global strategy is. For our secondary resources, we used Columbia Sportswear annual and quarterly reports. We used online articles for statistics and research. We used LinkedIn.com and Glassdoor.com. We used Columbia Sportswear retail website, including those retail websites of the companies that they bought out, and we also used their press releases and the Strategic Marketing Problems textbook by Karen Ann Peterson. Hey, I'm Deanna Reeves. So some strengths of Columbia Sportswear is they have been in the industry for over 75 years. Their prices are lower than most of their competitors. They have highly trained staff. They have a very strong social media presence. They have bought out two of their major competitors, which is Sorel and Mountain Hardware, and their products are equal. Uh, eco-friendly. So some of Columbia Sportswear weaknesses include colors that are too bright and unpractical on their products. They have trouble connecting with Millennials. They charge shipping on returns. They have lack of stores in Europe. Their net sales were down 2% for Mountain Hardware in 2017. 60% uh, of their sales actually come in the second half of the year and they have been discon uh, discontinuing or altering classic products. Some opportunities we found for Columbia Sportswear are there's a growing trend in the apparel market that emphasizes gender neutral styles and features in their clothing, to expand retail and distribution centers to Europe, there's, gr there's room for growth in hiking, yoga, paddleboarding, and BMX activities. There's also a growing influence on millennials uh, via YouTube and blogging. They could hold classes on how to use their gear, as well as provide life-saving tips to those who are camping. And there's also an emphasis on athleisure wear. Our first product strategy is to offer more gender-neutral clothes for women, specifically base layers. When I was working at Columbia Sportswear, we saw that a lot of women were complaining that they didn't like the purple and pink, and they wanted more of clay, orange, and forest green. Our product strategy is to introduce sunglasses and shoes into the Prana line, hand in hand with entering the Australian market. Australians very much appreciate the sustainable side of Prana and this gives, gives us a competitive edge. We can introduce shoes that are made out of cork and sunglasses that are made out of bamboo. Hey, I'm Remy. Strategy number three is to begin sponsoring BMX events and designing products for top tier riders. We also can sponsor riders such as Steven Cesar, who is a top BMX rider in his division. Product strategy number four would be to co-brand Dude Perfect. Dude Perfect is a very popular YouTube channel that does all these sports activities. If we co-brand with Dude Perfect, then we'll be able to have more eyes on our products. Our fifth product strategy relates to a recent article called The Outdoor Industry Has a Millennial Problem. This relates that millennials are not interested in high-tech outdoor gear, but they are more interested in athleisure wear, and we are we're recommending that Columbia Sportswear expand its athleisure wear for the sake of millennials. It relates to offering free shipping on returns. Since e-commerce is on the rise, this provides us with an opportunity to get more orders and add more customer satisfaction. Seventh product strategy relates to Mountain Hardware. Mountain Hardware is very popular for, for its tents. We believe that Mountain Hardware should offer in-store in tent demos and also offer Alpine classes similar to what REI does currently and it should update its manuals. So we have two suggested pricing strategies for Columbia Sportswear. The first one is for Millennials. Millennials value functionality for their products over techie. So we want to make the products more simple but whilst also keeping some features like two-way zippers, a detachable hood and extra pockets. 
Um, we also want to keep the price under $100 because millennials see things under $100 being cheap. Uh, by reducing markup, this also is going to bring more traffic in. Sync strategy number two is for the older generation, also known as the baby boomer boomers. Uh, there's an interesting statistic by the U.S. Census Bureau that claims by the year 2030, um, baby boomers are all going to be over the age of 65. This means that the, lar the large percent, a large percent of our population is going to be senior citizens. Baby boomers associate with the Columbia Sportswear due to their long history. They also are the most loyal customers that we have, so every first Tuesday of every month we are going to offer an extra 20% off on top of the 20 or on top of the 10% they already get. Hey, I'm Rebecca. The integrated marketing communication strategy revolves around building brand awareness for the Mountain Hardware line. The strategy is achieved through content marketing, advertising, and social media. For content marketing, the company should sponsor bloggers to talk about the benefits of their products. The company should also update the news section on their website so consumers can stay up to date. For the use of YouTube as a channel, the company should create a segment of videos showing how to use their products, which will also show consumers the benefits of the products. For advertising and social media, it is recommended that they use pay-per-click ads on social media and other related websites to promote the rebranded line of Mountain Hardware. Distribution and supply chain strategy. We want to set up more distribution centers and make more stores in Europe. With Europe's colder weather, we see this as a market that we can go after. Additionally, we want to set up more distribution centers in Europe so then we can keep the freight costs down. Next, we want to work on the online sales process. We want to focus on web traffic and manage our analytics and focus on increasing web. To do this, we'll focus on increasing web traffic and online sales. We also notice there's a, dis a disconnect between Columbia Sportswear and the retailer. Retailers typically place the items in the store but have no knowledge about the technologies and what goes on with our products. To fix this, we would like to give each retailer a booklet of information and in hopes they'll learn more about our products and all the technologies to inform their customers. Then, no, never mind. <laughs> Product line for almost any outdoor activity. Do you find some? Hey, I'm Remy. Prada line. Prana line. <laughs> Which is also baby boomers. <laughs> Hardware. Oh, damn it. Sorry. Dream that I messed up already. <laughs> Is that fine? Yeah, here. Okay. Yeah, or why is it recording when I hit the thing? What's the name? This one. That's the record one. I hit that the first time. Oh, it's not recording. Did it not record? <laughs>